Well, as the 2019 Travelers Championship gets underway, you are looking at the fourth hole. It's relatively nondescript. It doesn't get the star power that a lot of other holes do, but it's hard. One of the hardest on the course and has been tripping up players for years. And a lot of these players who are making hay starting on the back nine are going to run into a big problem when they get there. Glad you could be with us here uh, for our coverage of the 2019 Travelers Championship, a tournament that would be nothing without the help of a lot of cor corporate partnerships. Uh, one of the biggest over the years has been Trinity Health of New England. And with me now, I'm happy to have once again the president and CEO of Trinity Health of New England, Dr. Reggie Eady. Good to see you, sir. It's always a pleasure. And you. Lisa Zapatka, now she's a senior vice president and the region chief nursing officer, uh, relatively new to Trinity Health of New England. A pleasure oh, to meet you. Pleasure meeting you, Tim. Yeah, glad to have you here. And uh, Lisa, we'll get to you in a second. But awesome. doctor, uh, just 30 years, boy, that's been such a long time that your organization has been helping this tournament out. Just talk to me about what this partnership has meant. Yeah, so it's very important to us. So our, our mission is to be a compassionate and transforming healing presence in the communities. And yeah. so this relationship, Tim allows us to do just that. So when you think about what our partnership entails as it relates to Trinity of New England, what comes to mind are things like uh, the Patriot, the Patriot Outpost. So yes. here's where we get to honor, recognize, celebrate, and have fun with uh, veterans as well as active duty officers. Yeah. That's special. I mean, we're trained up in New England, so we're in the healthcare space. Yep. So we are the sole provider of the medical services here. So we're making yeah. sure that all of your viewers, when they come and visit here, the players, their family members, all fans, the community, is healthy and safe during this time period. Yeah. Um, and then there, if you go down to the, the fan zone, you'll see our women's center where we dedicate services to uh, women's health. And we think that's important. We think there's a huge opportunity in New England for that. Yeah. And this partnership, again, allows us to provide that service as well as um, live our mission and reach our vision. And it's a lot of the same faces I see, especially with providing the health care services here out there. Everybody in those yellow shirts, we talk to them every year here. John Quinlevin, uh, Dr. Wolf, the, uh, the, yes. the chief of critical care. Yeah. They are out here making sure you stay safe. And it can be hard. This is a big spot. It can get hot. People get dehydrated. So it's just great to, I, I would think, to have that, that visible presence, even through the yellow shirts. Oh, it's, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. it's amazing to be a partner of Travelers Championship, uh, not just seeing some of the world best golfers, but yeah. interacting with the community and doing what we do best, and that is yes. maintaining health for the community. And it's a great way to showcase not just what Trinity Health of New England can do, but also what Connecticut can do. So I think this is a great way to welcome you into the fold. Lisa, uh, thank you for being here with us My today. Pleasure. Uh, how good does it feel to, to be here with Trinity Health of New England? Oh, it's incredible. Um, my previous position took me all around the country. I was with another health care um, company, but I think you know when you're born and bred in New England, yeah. uh, you never you never truly really leave. So now I'm settled with my husband in Ellington, which is beautiful. Yeah, oh yes. But to be part of Trinity Health in New England and to be back home is incredibly satisfying. And I think to work with Reggie and his team and our colleagues, I mean, you just mentioned the people that you see here year after year, I think speaks to the dedication yeah. of our colleagues that we have at Trinity Health of New England. So it's been great to be back. And you folks are always driving forward. There are always new community initiatives. The serial drive right. being a big one of them. And that is, I think, helping to try to solve a problem that a lot of people don't realize is here. That's this is such an affluent state. Right. And yet, if I remember the numbers correctly, about one out of eight adults are food in insecure. That means they don't know necessarily where their next meal is coming from. And for children, I think it's even one in six. It is. It it's is. It's unacceptable. It's over 12 million children in America. Yeah. But I think, too, as you talk about the affluence that you see in Connecticut, that people don't realize that based on the recent report card, that over 50 percent of children in Connecticut rely on the breakfast and lunch programs in our schools. Yeah. So um, as Reggie mentioned, we have a very big focus on community health and well-being. Yep. It's a very robust program that we have. And we felt as a, as a team that it was really important to bring food insecurity um, and really raise it to the level of yep. what do we need to do and actually focus on children. And that's why it's breakfast doesn't take a break for mm -hmm. summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've partnered with our community food banks and all of our communities, and they are incredibly, incredibly um, willing and able to take on all of the donations that we're getting for the food drive. So not only is it raising 
the recognition of food insecurity, as yes. you mentioned. Think of that. Think of not knowing where your next meal will yeah. come from and making it as simple and relatable as cereal. Mm -hmm. And we just did our like a midpoint check after about three or four days, and we've collected over 45,000 oh, servings of cereal as well as over ten thousand dollars in cash donations which will help our food our food bank so people have just embraced wonderful. this this is really what we're about wonderful and i'm i'm glad yeah. we were able to give you some vis uh, visibility for that too so that's an ongoing effort thank you uh, thank you so much for being here thank doctor you. good to it's see you again pleasure. you guys are doing great work there at trinity health of new england glad to have them as a, a, a corporate partner here with the travelers championship and just doing so many things not just putting their name and time to it but putting that manpower to it as well it's great to see uh, a lot more coverage coming up, but for now, we want to send it back to the studio. All right, thank you, Tim. We are following a number of important stories this morning, including breaking news from overnight learning two people stabbed in.